How do you feel like uh, coming to KVRX studio? I, I'm very excited. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What did you feel like when Kelsey first told you about the show? I thought, oh my God, what, 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 what are we going to get ourselves into? <laughs> That's what I thought. And I, and I also told Pop, don't say anything to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so. Pop, what was your reaction when you first heard about this concept, you know? Well, I thought, thought it would be exciting. Okay. It's, I've never done it before. I, I have no idea to how to even continue. Uh, different but you know things. what? This is my... Uh, <laughs> my talker. <laughs> well, she, she does most of the talking? She does most of the talking. I get right. to sit back and listen. All right. Yeah, it's very important to have listeners as well. Absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise, you got to have an audience. Exactly. That's yeah. what the radio business is all yeah. about. You yeah. have a yeah. lot of listeners. Yeah. And uh, Pop and Nanny, uh, I didn't tell you something that inside the, inside the recording studio, we have a lot of surprises for you. You have no idea about that. Oh, no. No, no. that's a surprise. There's a lot of surprises yeah. for you. So, keep Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. One of the things, one of the things that that, that I did uh, when I was taking a, a history course in college uh, was uh, I interviewed a uh, girl that, a woman that worked uh, uh, one of those jobs, you know, like like for Rosie the Riveter. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and during and, World War Two. Yeah, yeah, World War Two. Yeah. So I, 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 that was fun. Um, and like, uh, so when did you actually come to uh, uh, Austin? That was uh, you recently. I heard that you recently made uh, built a house for yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. but no, we've been. We don't live in Austin. We, uh, we live in the country okay. uh, uh, between, between Thorndale and Thrall. Okay. And we've been there about uh, how long? Eighteen years. Eighteen oh, years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, recently, I have been to Baltimore, and it's a wonderful place. Oh yeah, really but you know, it's not like when I left. We left uh, in, uh, right after World War II. My my father got transferred to. Uh, uh -huh. No, no, he got transferred to. Uh, um, the Texas. Uh, uh, no, uh, White Sands Proving Grounds. Okay. And that was where where uh, they they tested the V two rockets that we got from Germany. Okay. The scientist uh, uh, von Braun. Her dad worked with, with him. With him. Oh, wow. So we settled in El Paso because he worked at White Sands Proving Grounds in New Mexico. But we lived on the on the base. But there was nothing there for my sister and I were were young, and so we moved to El Paso. And that was where we ended up. So that's where I met my husband and my sister also. So and it was a blind date that worked out. <laughs> we are going to talk about that. And, and I'm going to take, you, take a lot of you know, uh, tips from you, inspiration from you, yeah. uh, as regards life and everything. Because there are a lot of young people who are listening to this shows. So, like, I want you to say something about life, you know. Oh, I can. I think, let me tell you what I think is the most, imp most important thing yes. in marriage and in making a marriage last successful. They tell people it has to be 50-50. Yeah. No, it is not 50-50. It's not 50, uh, 50 75 or 25-75. No, sometimes it's 100-0. Yeah. And sometimes it's 90-10. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's 50-50. Uh, You've got to work that ratio. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And it's important to know each other. Like, you know, you know that the other person can give only 10%. You have to make the right Well, and you have to pick your fights too. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's not worth fighting over. Because sometimes it's better to give in, and, and then other times it is worth fighting over, and that would be the time. So, so did that sink in? Yeah, that did. Yeah. I can tell you were thinking about that. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I, I just want to. To ask you another question, maybe I won't be able to ask so many questions on the show. But just are you in touch with your uh, childhood friends? No, 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 oh. nobody, nobody. My sister told us a true thing. She says, Everybody, she's dead. 95. Yeah. She says, All my friends are in the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when, when my family moved to Texas. 
we lost track with everybody. Yeah, because we were so far away. Uh -huh. And you know, in today's world, it's different. Like, you know, you it have is. text messaging, you have Facebook. I am in touch with my dearest friend since my husband and I got married. I, she lived three doors up from me, and we have known each other about 45 years. And we visit, and they live in North buddies. Carolina. Oh, she really? is still my dearest friend. Which place in North Carolina? And she lives in Pinehurst, North Carolina. We go see them one year, and they and come see they us the following year. So we've been friends for 45 years. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. But she's the only one. Well, no, I, well we, we keep up with our friends since, since we married. But childhood friends, no. So we just have five minutes left, so like I think uh, in a very few minutes we have to shift to the studio. Please come on. As, as our grandchildren say, in the middle of Alex nowhere. <laughs> What's the name of that, that show, Men in Trees? Hmm? You know that show, Men in Trees? Men in Trees? You know where the where the, the girl is, the, this jockey or something, and goes in and sits down like she's doing? You know which one I mean? This is our uh, booth. Okay. No smoking. No, no food. That's good. Hi. This is a show going on, and after that, we'll begin. N uh, Pops, you can sit here. Are you comfortable? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is going to be your microphone. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Uh -huh. Oops. You have to put this on your head. Uh -huh. Are you comfortable? Uh -huh. okay. uh, did you face that ever? Yes. Oh, yes. For years. Right. For years. Okay. 
Okay, then food reminds of reminds me of food again. So, what was your favorite food as a child? Uh, chicken. Chicken uh -huh. and it's still and watermelon. Oh, really? Uh huh. Did you eat the whole watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Once I ate too much. <laughs> yeah. And so, do you really love chicken still? Do you still yes. Relish yes. chicken? Yeah. Okay. And what was your favorite color? Red. It still is. Yep. Yeah, but today we have to wear green. <laughs> Exactly. Did. Okay, and what was your most treasured toy as a child? Uh, probably a doll. Okay. Shirley Temple doll, probably. Okay. Okay, very well done, Nanny. Uh, now we come to Pop, and uh, we're going to ask you some really very quick questions about your childhood right now. Okay, Pop, tell us about your favorite cartoon character. My favorite character? Cartoon character? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, really? All right, and your f best sports? Football. Okay, and who was your favorite football star? My favorite football star? Yeah. Was a uh, guy that played football up here at uh, UT. Okay. And uh, has a. Uh, oh Rose, yeah, Rose uh -huh. the black guy. Yeah. Darren, do you know him? Who is the black about? guy? No. Uh, All right. Oh goodness. Earl. Earl. Earl Campbell. Yeah, Earl Campbell. Campbell. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Campbell. Okay. And um, your best actor, <laughs> I know it's John Wayne. John Wayne. All the way. <laughs> All right. And the best present that Santa ever gave you? Best present? I don't know. It was skates. Oh, roller skates. Yeah, we used to play hockey on roller skates. Okay. Ice hockey. Well, like it. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. And what was your favorite food? Mexican food. Oh, you love Mexican, yeah? Any kind of Mexican food. All right. Okay, um, very well done, Nanny and Pops. This was indeed a great performance. But you know what? The tragedy of life is that all great things must come to an end. And we have almost come to the end of our show. And thank you so much, Nanny and Pop for coming to our show and sharing those wonderful nostalgic moments. We have a little present for you. A teddy bear. A teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, we have a very little present for you and um, this is from the whole team of KVRX 91.7 and Nostalgic with Sadik. And as long as you look at this, I hope this toy always reminds you about your childhood, about your time with, with Sir. And, um, this is just a token of appreciation from the entire team of KVRX 91.7 and Nostalgic with Sadik. And before you go, I would just like you to say a few things to about our the young generation that's coming up. Is there any special message that you're going to love to give to your um, listeners? Yes, yes, yes. Live every day to the fullest. Every day. And okay. yesterday will be a fabulous memory yes. and tomorrow always a day to look forward to. Yeah, that's words. my motto. Yeah. Paul, would you like to add something? Just uh, enjoy life. Exactly. And uh, we certainly did. Yes. And, still and don't do. waste it. Don't yeah. waste your life. Yeah. Now, looking at you, I'm sure you had a wonderful life and many more days to go. And thank you so much for coming. And um, this is Sadik and Darren signing off from KVRX 91.7, you're listening to Nostalgic with Sadik. Thank you so much for being patient and listening to us. Stay tuned, stay nostalgic. Thank you. Well, that was great. Are we over? Yeah, Everything was great. Yeah. <laughs> that was very good. And, uh, that was fun. That was, and we'd like to like you. to sign uh, there as the, a your, as a your, tour. Yeah. Your, yeah, this. And thank you for our, our, yeah, uh, for our presence I here. I you didn't need to do that. We, we, we were just being here. We, we, well, we, just, we just enjoyed it. So. We were looking forward to having lunch with Zach and Kelsey. I told them. Sign here. Yeah. Any, 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 we never need an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in the day? Yes. Let's see, what is the day? Today is March 17th. March 17th, how yes. can I forget? Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Right. Let's see if you use it. How is it? You good? Good job. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. 
Mampis. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Yummy put my name down here. Yes, yes. That was fun. <laughs> that was great. We were listening. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> Just go. Did you guys sign? Got an audacity thing. I figured I had to do two at once if ever you need to. Oh, how do you do two at once? Um, you Thank can you just so like your open a new file. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's weird. I, 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 mean, it's I, it's just it's I just come out. I just type this up and come out. Let me do that. But yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll get it. Once it's done, I'll okay, send it to yeah, you. Sure, sure. Good as always. How is Yoshi doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. All the best? Yeah, you too.